Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I'm gonna be hosting the tech tip for today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, today's tech tip is all about the SEO and tracking options you have right within your lead pages account. So today I'm gonna to point you to where you can edit your SEO keywords and some extra SEO settings. And then I'm also gonna explain how to change the name of your page and the lead pages hosted URL that's generated once you publish your page for the first time. So the first thing that we're gonna hop into is our page tracking tab here on the left-hand side of our, of our builder. And if we head to the SEO section here, you can edit the page title, like you can see I've done there, page description, and you can add keywords as well. Um, just make sure to separate those keywords by commas, okay? Um, that will ensure that everything pulls through to the live version of the page correctly. Now, this page title also impacts the name that appears in your browser tab once your page is published. I'm going to show you this in just a second once we update our page, um, but I just wanted to show you that this is exactly where you're going to edit that content. Now in this page tracking section, just really briefly, I want to just point you to the section where you can edit some open graph tags. I know that it specifically says Facebook title, Facebook description, and Facebook thumbnail, but these open graph tags that you're generating by just simply filling out this information are going to pull through to other places as well. Um, now the last section is working with your analytics tab. So if you're using third-party analytics code, for example, Google Analytics or Facebook Pixels, or maybe you have something um, regarding SEO that you want to input in there, you're more than welcome to do that. All you would need to do is click Save once you've input any information in one of these three tabs. And then from there, you would want to update your page in the top right-hand corner. Now, if you're looking to edit the name of your page or the URL of your page, you can click on this little pencil icon at the top left-hand corner of your account, and from there you can edit your page name and the slug that's associated with your lead page's hosted URL. So maybe in this case, since originally when we named this page, there was landing page in the name, maybe we just want this to say using pixels. And then we click save, and that will generate and represent on our live page. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to update the page and view it so that you can see all of these changes being reflected. It's going to take just a moment, but when we click view the page, you'll now see that new page title located in the browser tab, and then all of your SEO settings are going to be reflected on the live version. Um, now, when it comes to your main lead pages dashboard, we're going to hop in there because you can also edit your page name and your URL right within that dashboard. So if you're not wanting to go into the edit mode of your page, you can also go and click on actions and go to rename. This will allow you to change the name of your page. And then going into publishing options allows you to edit your URL. You would just want to click on that pencil icon and then from there you can edit the end slug of your URL. Just make sure to click Save URL to get that representative. Now, I hope this points you in the right direction. If you have any questions moving forward, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. You can always access to, um, gain access to us by just clicking on that little question mark in the top right-hand corner of your account. We would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have moving forward. But thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.